and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Flora Sky. In the last episode, we met up with Brendan on Route AB, and he informed us that if we go see Mr. April, we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to uh, make our way, I think, over to, um, the A zone, or whatever the, um, s some faraway area that we can't currently get access to. So at the start of this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by, uh, making our way south, um, once more. And then we're going to make our way all the way back to Habitus Town, um, back to see Mr. April, and then we'll talk to him and see what on earth um, Brendan was talking about. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue on with our story and see uh, where we're going next. So I'll just uh, zip through all this, obviously um, we're just uh, surfing around, we've reached back here at uh, Sea Around. And the repel wears off, and now we'll just uh, zip through the city. There we go, and let's go. So, we zip across here, we reach Habitus Town, nice and simple. And then if we go into here, we can talk to Mr. Or we can't, where is he? I assumed that Mr. April would be there, but um, where on earth is he? <laughs> okay, so can we surf? Are we surfing on his Lapras? Lapras goes bzzz. Okay, so where is Mr. April then? He might be in the Pokemon Center? Or... Huh, I'm a bit confused. That seaside house is where Mr. April lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Yeah, exactly. So where is he? Uh, is that Mr. April? The reason why anyone visit how the test is bizarre. Hmm. Interesting. So have I just made a big mistake? Was I not paying attention to what Brendan was saying? I thought he mentioned Mr. April. Um, Happy Test Market. Uh, did we actually do this? I can't remember now. Um, let's just uh, see if there's anything. We have to go for it a little harder. Obviously all my Pokemon are dying a little too often to uh, fully appreciate me. Anyway, um, so where on earth are they? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, exactly, nothing here. Cool. So, is Mr. April not here? Have I made it? Yeah, I must have just misread something then, maybe, or... Because he's definitely not in his house. I'm sure it was Mr. April, I'm sure they said that, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, okay, so how do we get to the Festa Zone? Let's have a think about that. How do we get to Festa Zone? If I go to the map. Sorry about this, uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, uh, Festa Zone, how do we get to the Festa Zone? Do we take the ship from Charpos Harbour? So maybe, uh, if we have to go back to Charpos, that'll be really stupid. Oops, uh, that'll just be a waste of two super repels. <sighs> and it's all because I was an idiot and wasn't paying attention. Come on, let's just get through this area. There we go, repel wards off. Yeah, shut up, computer. Come on. I know you can't you don't like it when I'm fast forwarding, but anyway, okay, so Charpos. Let's see if it is here, if it's here. I apologize for the start of this episode. Um But yeah, no, uh it must be here. It's the only other thing I can think of. Um Okay, so he actually comments on the car and returning to the island, which is nice. 
Do, 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 do. So that's where we pop out from sea around. This is the harbour, is it? Oh no, that's the fan club. <coughs> okay, so where on earth could it be? Where on earth could it be? I do not know this map well enough. That is Wally's house, yes. And that is the bike house. Where you can get acro bikes, we can come around here. All I need to make it through the sea. Sorry about this, I'm a little lost. I can't quite remember which way I have to go. Uh, this was the Team Magma hideout. Well, the guy gave me a super rod, allowed me to catch my whale So, it must be this side. So if we talk to you, what do you have to say? Hello, are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? Gold Pass, would you like to go to a golden city? Okay, so there we go. So we just needed to get the ferry at Charles. Well, that was a waste of a trip. Apologies, I thought it was Mr. April, but maybe they said Mr. April was made the captain of the ship? I can't remember. So anyway, okay, so golden. And is that Mr. April? Ah, Maggie, long time no see. Since you can use surf, I think you'll not need me to take you to take you to see around anymore. So I crossed the sea and travelled to many towns and cities. And now I'm here. I'm very happy to be meeting with you again. I'm also working with some old friends to build a big ship. Hey Maggie, why don't we visit the coffee bar in this city? I'm sure you will like it. I will tell you about a bet with my old friend. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we are here at Golden City. Um, obviously a large city for us to explore and have a chats with various people with. So, it was Mr. April, but we were just meant to use the Golden Pass. Right. Okay, so I really want to get hard mail, but I can't get to Small Town Pokemon. Sure, okay, so we'll trade hard mail for a coin case, that works. Um, which allows us, obviously, to use, um, to uh, gamble at the game corner. This place is beautiful, perhaps even too much so. Pokemon people and nature are in perfect harmony here. Is there a gym here, I wonder? To toughen myself, to toughen my Pokemon. For that alone, I have come. Are you going to let me pass? Now we've just got to wait for her to get out of the way. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Trainer Hill entrance. Scale the heights, you hot-blooded trainers. So is this, like, similar to... Like the Battle Pyramid or something like that. Do you know when they're opening this place up? I'm waiting for this to be the first challenger ever. Okay, so it's not open yet. I heard tough trainers come to this training hill from all over. I can't wait to test the waters. I'll knock aside anyone that stands in my way. Yes, yeah, so here we just have a bunch of healing items. So they said it wasn't open yet. Or maybe this is uh, the place in Emerald where you can. Um, we never actually tried that on our uh, on our uh, bug monotype, so maybe that's something we should do. Anyway, so Golden City. No, nothing to talk about that. The play spot for all the Golden Game Corner. I keep losing in battles, and my Pokémon end up fading. Maybe that's why my Pokémon like me too much. I think some foods can make them happy. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard? You need to ask. It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It's not easy. I think that's a mother in one of the houses, and now it's obviously been swapped with him. Anyway, you. I and Pokemon, I'll show you how we bonded. Okay, random maid. Nice, uh, different, um, a new sprite. And level 42, so high level. Um, admittedly, it is just a Clefairy, so, uh, shouldn't have too much trouble. As we get a crit, uh, you're gonna Hyper Potion, obviously. And we're going to get that flinch again. That uh, Surf flinch is uh, rather OP at the moment. I hope you become a trainer that that Pokemon can love and trust. I think that was. Anyway. Uh, coffee bar you can enjoy more than just exquisite drinking. So let's talk to Mr. April. Ah, you're here, Maggie. I and my old buddy Watson have a small bet. He doesn't. He don't believe that I can find the candy bar in this region. But finally, I found them here. <laughs> Maggie, please help me deliver them to him. Okay. Oh, Maggie, please deliver the candy bar to Mr. Watson. He often visits the coffee bar in Puglia City. You can meet him there. I want to see how he feels when you bring it to him. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
So is that all we need to do here? Oh, I got a TM as a prize from the game corner. I use it on my Pokemon right away. So naturally, uh, we obviously are here at the game corner. Let's see. Uh, so we've got TM32, 29, 35, 24, and 13. Um, I think these three are Thunder, well, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Flamethrower. Uh, 29 and 32, I don't know. And you can also get some dolls as well. So, Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip, I believe that was. Okay, so yeah, yeah usual, um, usual fare. It's easy to try a... Yeah. Here's some information here about the slot. The more light bulbs, the more lightning bolts you stop, the more real time chances you get. In a game with a maximum five real time chances, it's possible to receive four regular bonuses, then a big bonus. <laughs> Up to three coins could be used to play at the slots. Yes. Okay, so that is that. We've got a mart here. Is there anything new? So we've got great balls, ultra balls, super potions, hyper potions. So we can actually get hyper potions now, which is good. Um, I'm pretty sure we've been able to do that anyway, but anyway. We can also get Max Repels, which is um, ideal. So no. Someone wants to buy all the merchandise. So what else do we have around here? So it looks like we got a few exits as well. It's easy to get to the city. It's one of it's one boat trip from TAs or Charpos. You can also use the teleport service, but I'd much rather enjoy the sailing of a boat. So does that mean the teleport service is now active? So it's only to the Festa Zone. Interesting. Okay. So maybe that's like to stop you from having like each of the um, various areas that you get um, uh, passes to on the boats that allows you to um, choose between them the teleport service. A good trainer is one that takes care not to let their Pokemon faint from losing HP. Actually. We'll just heal up just to uh, get get back some. Uh, I think we lost. Well, we'd have used up some some PP, but that's it. So now, uh, you. Oops, that coin case. Oh, you have already spoken to you. Is that a Pokedex? Did you get to meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. And check out this Wooflot. It's the Wooflot that I caught yesterday to celebrate my birthday. I see that you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what, I might be willing to trade it for a Wobbuffet. Okay, so we can get Bouffalant for Wobbuffet, which is an, uh, an interesting trade for his priceless... Uh, it's obviously not quite so pri priceless. Um, so, is that all we really need to do here? Is that all we need to do is now make our way back to... Um, freaking Puglia, which is... is that this one? No. Which is Puglia City. <laughs> So Puglia is north of here. So we haven't actually managed to reach there yet, though, is the issue, because um, so far we have we were blocked by the Azuril on route A, A, B, so uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do then. Uh, let's head out of this city and let's see what's around here. We've already spoken to you. So... Somewhere on this island, peculiar Pokemon are sleeping. Could it be that they're waiting for you? So, Golden City still. Um, route AD. So, let's have a look. Hey, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? So, we've got a Cowgirl. Another, another new sprite. So, uh, she has a Meltank, a level 40. So, it looks like we are at the right place um, in terms of just like what levels the other Pokemon are at, which is good. Uh, our body slams is way too much. Why should not unleash power at this point? It does not. We're going to take out that no tank. be a nice chunk of experience. Whale grows to level 40, and I believe that should be our evolution. So, finally, I believe, is this almost our last one? Um... This may well... No, not quite our last evolution. We're still hoping that our uh, our Dusclops will evolve. But for now, it's all about our Whalmer, who is now going to evolve into a wonderful Waylord. I agree. So, 
There we go. We now have a Whale Lord, which is awesome. I wonder if it drops in speed. You'd think it would. So we've got a uh, quite, uh, obviously quite um, thick grass here. And what can we catch around here? We see a Wild Star Arabia. We're just going to uh, fast forward a little bit just to see uh, what Pokemon we can see. Staravia, Ponyta, uh, more Staravia. Come on, it's got to be something uh, something slightly different. Fine, I have a surf. So there's an illustration of what Fire Dance was. So um, I obviously did not let my Ponyta learn Fire Dance, but uh, what you just saw there was an example of what uh, it can do. It does it's similar to ancient power in the sense that it can give you all the boosts at once, uh, along with doing damage. So yeah. Anyway, you, my Pokemon can't be taken down easily. Says a Pokemon breeder Rainer and another interesting sprite who has a Herdier. Sorry, a Herdier. Don't know why I suddenly went French. Um, let's go into our Rapidash. Takedown is obviously going to do a lot of damage, but um, we've got Ember here. If we can get a burn, that would be lovely. Of course, you're going to hyper potion. And we do get the burn, so that's going to uh, obviously completely disable that Herdia's ability to really do damage to me. Uh, for the uh, for the Gramble, we'll go into our slacking. Ah, I forgot about. Uh, forgot about. Uh, Intimidate, and that really has actually uh, hindered us. But actually, if you're going to rage, that is fine. Uh, you're going to bite this time. Let's bulk up. Okay, fair enough. And down goes the ground. Nice. <laughs> you want to write? I'll work my way back up by taking on trainers I happen to meet. I like training here by myself. It's awful that all these people came. So we've got another cowgirl, cowgirl Darcy. Who has an Ampharos? Uh, we don't really have anything for Ampharos at the moment, so well, let's go into slacking. Don't paralyze me. Let's see how much strength there is. That's a good amount, and we even get a, a decrease in speed. And then we'll go into our dust stops here, and uh, we will Shadow Punch. Ah, you're kidding me. Okay, and now if we go into a delayed, we can psychic, and down you go, there we go, good. I did not see what's coming in, it is a Breloon, so uh, we can actually psychic here for a reliable, super effective stab damage. I suppose I can partner up with that boy and challenge the other team. Okay, cool. So now, let in, let's us uh, head back, heal up. Because we don't want to, uh, we don't want our Pokemon painting on us, of course. So we'll heal up, and then uh, we'll continue along this route. I'm interested to see, because um, obviously they mentioned what was it? I mentioned sleeping Pokemon that may be waiting for us, which is uh, rather intriguing. Um, a Scarecrow, Honey Village. Okay. What do you have to say? That house has stored many crops for our village. And it's a cone bee. If you put honey on a tree, check back later and you can find a Pokemon there. I found a cone bee, but I still have some rare Pokemon on the tree. It it gets my hope up. Uh, it gets my hopes up if I can catch a Munchlax. Okay. Come me. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Okay. So, and obviously an example, examples of those are Combi and Munchlax, it seems. Honey Village Warehouse? Huh, who are you? Huh, I know you didn't come to see me, is that right? Interesting, okay. Uh, what else is going on here around here? Have you seen the thick lianas in the forest? You can't use air cutter to pass it. What you need is an application for a special machine. So we're going to get to a point where we can't go any further because we can't use air cutter. Okay. Interesting. Is that like... I don't know, it's not like the other warehouse where like the walls sort of change every time you... 
enter. Okay, cool. So, so we've got more Azuril uh, blocking our way. And Cynthia is appearing to help us buy it. Get by. So, oh Maggie, nice to see you here. After the Polar Forest affair, this region has become peaceful once more. I no longer see te members of Team Magma or Aqua. It's wonderful, don't you think? Um, the climate of this village is so comfortable. Are you going to visit the honey bar? You should use a secret potion to make these Pokemon go elsewhere. Sometimes they block the path. Okay, so we get a secret potion. And doing so sends the Azuril away. From now on, you can use the secret potion to continue your adventure. Sorry, I have an engagement with Mr. Steven there. Hope you have a good time when you visit this when you visit this village. Bye. Okay, so um, that really helps us because that does actually allow us to reach Puglia City next, and that allows us to give uh, Miss give Watson Mr. April stuff and all this sort of stuff. So good, good. It seems like progress, I would say. Ah, I'm tired. To raise good crops, you need to keep a good eye on them. Well, at least we finally worked out what we're doing here, which is good. Oh, hi, are you a trainer? Sorry, I don't, if I don't work hard, my dad will get angry. That's terrible. So if we zip through here... Why don't you try a new life here on the farm? You can't slack off, you know. Honey Village, a village full of milk and honey. So it looks like we can't head any further north. Um... What do you have to say? I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? A Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. So, there is another honey tree. Um, and maybe I can be slightly less awful with my uh, putting the honey on and then... Uh, well, we'll see. If, if, if we are not coming back to this area... Sorry, if we are coming... If, if, if uh, there's enough around here to keep me interested, then I'll probably stay here until... Um, I'll probably plant some honey, and then the, hopefully when I record the next episode, uh, we'll be able to catch a Pokemon. I like the mill tank in the field, as a, this is obviously a, a dairy farm. Yep, mill tanks. Boo. Anyway. Whoa, I spent so much time at the rice field, it's so tired. When I'm at home like this, I can finally relax. Mill tank is sick, do you want to feed a lumberry for it? Okay, so we need a lumberry. Our mill tank is sick and it's a lumberry, but we don't have it. I hope you can give a helping hand. So we need to find a lumberry for the mill tank. Don't you think it's really terrific that the crops you've tended have grown so well? I think that's a little... Ow. Anyway, welcome. We usually have the honey compost here, but our mill tank is sick, so we don't have to organise it now. Okay, so we can actually catch Pokemon here. Uh, um, they may all well be the similar sort of uh, same Staravia and Ponytail that we saw before. We have many Miltank that we can't feed them enough, so you can catch some Miltank here, young trainer. Okay, so it looks like we might actually be able to find wild Miltank here. As we find a wild ruff, uh, a wild rufflet, and I shouldn't have rolled out because I forgot that I now can't do anything about it. Please miss, please miss. But still, that's interesting. Um, lots of interesting new sprites here, obviously. Um, as we see, another a rough look. So Surf takes you out. We'll just have to headbutt. Come on, you know what I'm saying. Two, three. Ah, really? There we go, we catch ourselves a Rufflet, the eagle Pokemon, which obviously uh, grows into, uh, or evolves into, Braviary. Now normally, when you see Rufflet, you see uh, Rullaby, but, um, oh, yeah, but it doesn't look like it's here, it doesn't, doesn't look like they're here, so anyway. Well, seeing as the honey contest is not on at the moment, we will continue on around this uh, little town. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are some battles that we missed uh, back on the route we were just on. 
Uh, so we'll have to do them. We've also also got the the path that the uh, Azura opened up for us. But first of all, we will head back here. Let's see if uh, we can't you, for example. Yeah. Check this. Check out this sculpted body. I'm more cut than a black belt. Calgo Pagier turned up another mill tank. Which is his body slam. We get off a nice surf, which is a nice chunk of damage. Where Lord Gross level 41, you're going to send out Rapidash. So we're going to stay in. I have no idea how we outsped a Rapidash, but there we go. Probably we might have Quick Claw on, actually. But anyway. Yep, you're not bad. What was that? <coughs> anyway, losing to you stimulated my senses. I'll train myself and my Pokemon hard. Lumber? Chesto. Rost. Aspir. Petra. So, no Lumberry. It wouldn't be that easy to be able to do this quest, obviously. Hopefully, I haven't spoiled it by actually not planting the berries, because obviously I'm terrible at planting berries. So, um. Hopefully, uh, there will be another Lumberry somewhere, and we'll be able to pick it up. And we probably have encountered the Lumberry before, just as a, you know, I would have thought so. Still, okay, so there's only the, that one extra battle that we missed. And now if we head back into Honey Village, we can actually, uh... Just make our way uh, down this path. If the marrow will stop bothering us. So, yes, we have um, another heart, what do you have to say? Don't you think living too long might be a problem too? Lately I've been thinking. Hmm. I do like the, uh, it does make the world feel much sort of bigger by having these sort of farms and stuff like that. There we go. Can I ask you something? Will milk help me grow up? I can't wait to be an adult. I do like that kind of piece, right? <laughs> Welcome, make yourself at home. Do you want a glass of milk? Okay, so. Coming all the way out here is something going on. So they're a bit uh, surprised that we're out. Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon. Says Kaugo Johanna, who has a Rapidash. Uh, just to be sure, let us heal. Fire Dance, it should not hurt me. You are going to raise your special defense, but our Surf is... Ah, really? Can you stop, like, getting all the boosts? All of the boosts. There we go, down you go. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we must be holding a quick claw because there's no way that we should actually uh, outspeed a plus two Rapidash. Anyway, you, honey bar. Gobble, gobble, choke. Ach, I'm choking, that was close. I should chew before I swallow my food. So is there anything else around here? You. Wow, your badges are too cool. Maid Catelyn would like to battle. She has a Clefairy, so let us surf it away. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Don't do this, Clefairy. Don't, 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 don't. This is not what we want to see. Flinch. Light screen wears off. And Metronome. A Pokemon battle is grueling. Well, I might as well make the best of this. I'd like a rematch sometime. After a match, you should have some Moo Moo Milk to quench your thirst. Or you may drink a can of lemonade. So, we can buy honey here, uh, lava cookies, uh, fresh water, soda pops, and lemonades. So, um... That's all good, actually. I mean, uh, lava cookies heal um, status issues, so... They're essentially full heals, and very cheap at that. So let's get 15 of those. And I believe lemonades are 80, which is much better than soda pops. Obviously, we are buying. They're a good in between from like a. They're also very cheap. So they're, and they're a good in between from like a super potions to hyper potions. Okay, so that looks to be everything around here. Everything around the honey village. Um, done. 
So if we just go to our map, we should be able to see... I think Honey Village was also a dead end. Yes, it is. So what we'll probably do in the next episode is we'll try and head north. We'll see if there's anything going on and see if we can reach Foster Town. If not, then obviously we will just jump on our boat back from Golden City back to... Um, back to Charpos, and then we'll actually have to make our way all the way back around. And then try and uh, get our way over to Puglia City. But that should be it. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Flora Sky. And I hope in the next, I hope you'll join me in the next episode where we'll be doing all that. Just to finish off this episode, we will put some honey on the tree. And then hopefully at the start of the next episode, a Pokemon should be there. So, I hope you'll join me on the next episode where we will be doing that. I'll see you then.